So um, I'll just share my. Am I sharing my entire screen? So can you see like the this Python thing? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is my main thing where it runs everything else, and um, it goes to like it creates a level object, and on this level object, this runs all of the stuff that's on the screen. So yeah. So it runs the UI. It um checks if the player dies. It also checks if um the it, it just runs the player attack logic too. So it connects all of my other files to like the upgrade file. And um, it also allows you to access the player attributes. So I have a lot of Python files in this. So this is my presentation. Um, map creation is like, oh crap. So this is like how I made the map. Well, I already like, I got this picture from online. Then like, um, we have like a bunch of files. Like basically, so um, a string and it's like a bunch of commas and stuff. So um, I have to use split to turn it into a list. Here's like the code that you can use to do that. And then, uh, yeah. So um, I have a keyboard controls here. And then, uh, okay. Uh, they're for movement and a selection system in place for the shop and upgrades. So the left control button is to cast magic and space bars to attack. Tab is used to open the shop and M is used to open the upgrades menu. And here's like the code for the keyboard controls that show. We have the selection thing right here. And okay, let's go. This is um, the attacking mechanism thing that I made. And then this is a UI. So it's like, there's, an, there's like a health bar, this red thing here. And like this energy bar, which is right here. It's also an experience bar in a level indicator. As well as a, um, the upgrades in shop can be accessed um, with uh, different buttons on keyboard. So when you click, when you uh, press M, this like this thing over here appears. So it's also magic damage and there's speed. Also there's this and this, so yeah. You can just, oh, but, um, this is like the shop uh, menu thing. So you can buy weapons and magic and stuff. And this is how um, I displayed this um, little tinkle thing. So actually each of these is like their own item. So um, I didn't make a bunch of items like that. So actually these classes in my code, but um, this is the player and enemy interaction. So every time the player attacks, the player makes an object. And I'll be check if that object touches the enemies. So if it does, then um, they get hit. So like the enemy can also attack the um, close enough to attack. And then this is like an example of that. And like one of the animations that I have. Um, so this is a flame animation. And um, yeah, there's just a bunch of pictures. And I access them with a dictionary. And also, well, actually all the animations are added like player movement, attack animations. So. Yeah. So that's like the show. That's it. That's awesome. So I'll just go to the next slide. There's like two more clips here, but um, yeah. So yeah, that's basically my presentation. Uh, can you also share your link with us, Addison? Oh, thank you. So, yeah, if anybody have any question or any uh, comments, yeah, please feel free to. How long did it take you? To, how long did it take you to make it? Like an entire week. 